This book contains tons of mathematics that you have never seen before in your life. It's called Handbook of Applied Mathematics by Jansen. And this book was a gift, and I am super excited about it. But before we look at this book, I'm just going to smell it because oh, it smells so good. This book also has some mysterious hidden treasures inside that we're going to look at. Some things that I don't know what they are, but maybe some of you watching do know. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what this book contains. So first of all, there's a name here, and I believe it's in another language. 1934, that was a long time ago. And then we have this mysterious paper, which is in the book. I don't know what this is. I don't know what language this is. I'm assuming it's, I'm just gonna make an uneducated guess here, German. And there's a weird stain there. I wonder what that is. Wow. Wow, if anyone can read this or if anyone knows what language this is, uh, leave a comment. I'm curious, I think it's German. Feels like it's German. The Handbook of Applied Mathematics, but the book itself is in English. And here's the author, Martin E. Jansen, Consulting Engineer, 4th Printing, D. Van Nostrand Company, Inc., New York, 4th Avenue. Yeah, that's a very popular publishing company. I don't know if it still exists. Probably not. By the way, the cover, even though it's a hardcover, it feels a little soft. It's a little weird. Here are the copyrights. First published in 33. So this is the fourth printing, April 1934. That's probably why it's signed 1934. The person bought it uh, brand new at the time. Let's take a look at the preface. And again, there's more hidden treasures that we'll explore in this book. This book has been prepared to demonstrate how readily mathematics lends itself to the solution of practical problems. While it does not illustrate every type of problem, it seeks to develop logical reasoning which, if properly cultivated, will enable the reader to analyze his own problems and arrive at their solution by the most direct method. It's also a reference book with a wealth of specific information on many subjects. Whether the book is used for reference or as a text for self-instruction, the reader is urged to read the introduction with some care for it contains the key to handling of mathematical problems. I just have to smell it one more time. I'm sorry, it just smells so good. Oh, wow, wow. Wow, there he is, 1933. Wow, November, long time ago. So here's a look at the contents. This, again, this book has math that you've never seen. Uh, it's stuff that uh, you just don't see in books today. So here we go. Let me get a look here at what's in here. Introduction, how to use this book. Okay, arithmetic, slide rule, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, mechanics, weights and measures. Excavation and foundations, concrete, wow, brickwork, carpentry and building, lathing and plastering, painting, plumbing, heating, machine shop work. A lot of things that uh, I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't see these things in math books today, right? These are not things that are taught. I'm sure there is a reason if you, if you know why or if you have theories, leave a comment. Um, you know, things change over time. I think a lot of the applications today in mathematics are, are centered towards computers and programming, you know, with the internet, things are, things are different. Handbook of Applied Mathematics. How to use this book. Mathematics is a sharp tool in the hands of one who knows how to use it. Indeed it is. But an ineffectual instrument to one who does not understand its principles and range of applications. Fortunately, there is no mystery or ledger, de ledger domain connected with mathematics. Big words in old books. It shares with other tools the characteristic that proficiency in its use is achieved by practice. Cool. Let's just kind of glance at the book and see some of the math it actually contains. So this is some basic, basic formulas here. Basic arithmetic. Nothing fancy. Let's go to skip ahead a little bit. What's, what's this? What is this? Here's a hidden treasure. Popular Science, 1225 Portland Place, Boulder, Colorado. 15-in-1 shop guide. Wow. 1961. Whoa. So apparently um, someone else used this book in the 60s. I, maybe it was the same owner, but they put this in the book. So someone uh, after or in 1961 put this in here. Let's have to smell it. 
I just feel like I need, everything needs to be smelled. Pieces of history. Bolt and screw sizes. Find the smallest hole screws drop into. Don't force or turn. I see. So you can use this to uh, measure screws. I feel like I've seen this at... Um, I went to a local hardware shop a long time ago, and I was trying to find some screws to do some type of uh, home improvement thing in the bathroom or something. And uh, I, I had to find certain screws, and I used uh, this little guide at the hardware store to find out what screw I needed for my project. I don't remember what the project was. Uh, bolt head nut wrench gauge. Cool. And then it's got uh, a ruler here and compass and rule here. What's it say here? Useful formulas. Nice. To find the circumference of a circle, knowing its diameter, multiply diameter by 3.1416. Right, because uh, the circumference is 2 pi r, so 2r is the diameter, so it's really pi times d, so that's an approximation for pi times d, which is the diameter. That's the formula for the uh, circumference. So kind of cool. Area of a triangle, base, length, height. Multiply base by half the height. Yeah. Yeah, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So you would multiply uh, the base by half the height. That would work as well. Same thing, right? So interesting, uh, interesting little thing here, right? So a lumber measure. What's this? Cool. Board feed. So just all kinds of stuff. It's trig. Look, it's got trigonometry. So not just basic arithmetic. We've also got some trig. Let's see what it says here. Trigonometry is that branch of geometry which deals with angles and with the solution of triangles by means of trigonometric functions. Here it talks about angles. So in theory, you could use this book uh, to, you know, to, to learn mathematics. Now, I don't know if this book is available online. Again, I got this book for free. It was a gift. This is not something I purchased. Um, so, and I, I just got it. I thought, they need to make this video because this book looks really, really cool. Yeah, concrete. I don't have a lot of experience with, with concrete work. I, I've used it. Brickwork. Wow. Carpentry and building. What's this? Fireplace dimensions. Width of opening inches, approximate height inches, depth of opening inches, flu sizes. Really interesting. Again, not something that you see uh, in colleges today. This is not something that's taught. I, I mean, I guess if you took like uh, some type of course where you like you you built things with your hands or did something like that, um, you might you might do some mathematics in those courses as part of that construction process or that assembly process. But this is pretty cool. Pretty cool that this exists. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't have any other books like this. You know, as many of you know, I collect math books and science books and finance books and all kinds of stuff. And um, I don't have, I don't think I have any other books like this one. I have, I have some that have things like this, but I feel like this one's a little bit more mathematical than some of the other ones I have. Because I have some old school home improvement books, a little bit of a glare there. All right, the glare problem is fixed. I don't know what happened there. That was a little bit weird. You can see here some of the mathematics in the book. I don't know what's in the back here. Recent Van Nostrum books for the practical man on mathematics. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. This is really, really cool. So these books are really famous. Uh, Richard Feynman um, used these books to uh, learn math. I think he read Algebra for the Practical Man. And if my memory serves me correctly, he said it was a little bit too easy. That was his impression. And then uh, he said something about trig, I forgot. And then calculus, uh, he used this one as well to learn calculus. So, yeah, when he was younger, these are the books that he used to, to learn mathematics, which is really interesting, right? A Manual of the Slide Rule by J.E. Thompson, great author. Rapid Guides to Good English. Yeah. Books are incredible. Even with the internet, I prefer physical books. By the way, if I can find this book, I don't know if I can. I'll definitely leave a link in the description. I'll look for it. I mean, there might be a copy or two available on the internet. It's probably most definitely out of print. Right, most definitely out of print. So it's kind of like a handbook. That's what it's called, Handbook of Applied Mathematics. Ooh, electricity. What's this? Components of EMF impressed on inductive circuit. 
Got to give it another whiff. Oh, incredible, incredible, incredible. Electricity. Really cool. Just an interesting book that has applications to math plumbing that you normally wouldn't see. By the way, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Check them out, uh, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but uh, check them out on my website because if you use my links, I've lowered the prices. And when you use my links, you'll get a really low price. Mathsorcerer.com. I've got courses on algebra, calculus, trig, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but again, uh, use my links from my website because you'll get a low price and it helps me. Also, if you found any value in this content and you want to subscribe, you can if you want to. If you don't, no big deal. The biggest takeaway you should get from this video is that this is a very interesting book. It's probably extremely rare. I don't know. I haven't looked. And it has math that you have never seen before. I mean, this is math that uh, is not really taught uh, in schools anymore. It's hidden mathematics. Again, it's Handbook of Applied Math by Jansen. Good luck.